So the Growing Together pack has been out for almost a month now. And while there is a lot of features I've really been enjoying, there's also a lot that I feel are pretty lackluster. And honestly, there's there's been a lot of missed opportunities. But as always, the mod community delivered and they filled that void in our heart that called for more. So this is going to be 20 mods that you could be using to enhance your Growing Together gameplay. I'm going to be going over a mix of pre-existing mods and new new ones that have since come out since game came out but I'm breaking this up into three categories the first category is setup the first spot we're going over is MC Command Center, because did you know you've been using it wrong this whole time? But no, seriously, this mod will always be my number one because there's a lot of, I don't want to say hidden features, but there are a lot of unknown features that I don't really see showcased a lot in mod videos. I'm specifically going over things that impact genetics, inheritance, and things that you want to see in gameplay where you have a long lineage. So starting from a computer, clicking on MC Command Center, going to MC MC pregnancy. We're gonna go into offspring and in here we have so many nice hidden gems. Like if you click on inherit trait type, when your sims have babies, they can start inheriting some of their parents' existing traits. If you go back, you can change the total number of traits they could potentially get. You could change the maximum amount of offspring you can have in one pregnancy. So right now it's set to triplets, but we can have it go up to set tuplets. I think that's what six is. You could even limit the total number of offspring a household can have, backing all the way out to the main MC command center menu. If you go to MC cast and then scroll down to offspring, you can adjust how certain traits are inherited. So skin tones and skin details are my favorite to have enabled because this ensures if you have like a certain skin detail or even like a custom skin detail, there's a chance that your offspring can inherit that. You can also remove blue babies from your game, which is honestly great in my opinion. Back out to the main menu, go to MCCC settings. And we're going to go to money settings. In regards to growing together, I would say the two most important things in here are inheritance and then child support. So child support, very straightforward. You can essentially enable it to where parents can get paid if the other parent is not in their household. And then for inheritance, we're of course talking money inheritance. So let's say your sims parent is elderly they are out of the house if they happen to pass away either their spouse or their living offspring can receive their leftover money always sad to see them go but at least the money doesn't go to the sim bank next from this menu again clicking on mccc settings relationship settings allow teen parenting this is not like teens having kids this is just teens building the parenthood skill or parenting skill. That way, as they are helping with their younger siblings, they could be building skills too. And still within the MCCC settings, gameplay settings, this is where you adjust your maximum household size. So if you want to have more than eight Sims, this is where you do it. The only thing I would say is if you have a household that has more than eight Sims, you can't enter create a Sim the normal way anymore because it will delete the last Sim that you have in the family because Create a sim can only recognize eight sims total. So what you would have to do instead is go to the sim you want to edit, click on them, go to MC Command Center. You'll click on Sim Commands and Modify and Cast. And in here, it opens Create a Sim, but you'll see you, you can't see anyone else in the family on the bottom. We're only editing the sim. The last thing I'll show on MC Command Center is if you have a sim that you want to age up, maybe they're not in your household, maybe it's your kid's friend who lives in another household. Currently, there's not really a way to do it in game, but literally with MC Command Center, you could just click on the sim, go to Sim Commands, Set Age, and you could just click on the next age stage and it will trigger a age up. So this is really helpful if you don't want to bake a cake or again if you have friends of your children who you want to stay at the same age as your as your sim child. It uh, gives you the ability to do that pretty easily. So if you like the idea of inheriting traits and things from your sims parents but want more logic applied than just RNG, then this mod creator has a few different options. For this one, this is specific to inheriting aspiration bonuses. So we can see in the sample picture, this one is dastardly, which you get from the like mischief. 
aspirations. This one is another option, inborn personality. And basically what it does is it gives you a percentage chance to inherit certain traits based on whether or not one parent has the trait or if both parents have the trait, it increases the odds that your offspring will also inherit that trait. And the last one I'm going over takes a lot more of a technical approach. This one is the genetic rewards mod. And this one looks at if you have any of the bonus reward traits, it can appoint a similar create a sim trait to that sim. So let's say you're going for the 100 baby challenge and you gave your sim the fertile trait. Well, the offspring now has the chance to either get the family oriented or even the hates children trait as a uh, inherited trait. They have a lot of other mods that deal with inheriting traits and things like that. Some of them are compatible so you can have multiple. So if this is something that interests you, I highly recommend that you check them out. The next mod we're going over is the Set Family Relationships mod. And this is one that I came across as I've gotten further and further into my not so berry save. And um, I'm nine generations in and fear every day that my family tree will soon become a wreath. So this mod allows you to take your extended family members and have your sim recognize them as such. This doesn't add them to the family tree, unfortunately, but your sim will recognize them as family in the relationship panel. And as long as you have the no romance family members part of this mod, yeah, no, no romance for family, then this will completely remove the romantic menu options from sims that are identified as distant relatives. The next mod on here is the Life Manager, also known, excuse me, also known as the Family Tree Generator. And honestly, it says it all right here. With one click, you'll be able to generate an entire family tree for your sim with the following attributes. So if you're like me and you just want to make like one sim, but you still want all the perks of having multi-generations without all the effort of making each individual sim, then this mod may be for you. But it gives you a great starting point without having to do all the setup beforehand. Mod number five is the Life Decider by Kawaii Stacy, And this mod goes perfectly with the last one we just went over because Sims 4 townies and randomly generated Sims usually have like zero jobs, zero skills, and you know, decision paralysis is real. So this mod is awesome because it will randomly generate the skills, career, income, relationships, enemies, degrees, and a bonus trait. So as she says, this mod is for Sims that you don't have a story for, and need a little help on. The bonus traits are ones that are specific to this mod, but the skills are the ones that come in game. We're now into category two of this video, which is gameplay, but specifically non-active gameplay. You'll see what I mean in a second. This first mod is the Education System Bundle by, again, Kawaii Stacy. I've gone over other mods by Kawaii Stacy in the past that I think would also fit well in this video, but I want to talk about this one because I don't think I've actually gone over it before, and I think it is a really, really, really good fit for this new pack. So the mod has four core features. We have preschool, which is honestly my favorite part because it allows your toddlers to go to school during the day and build their skills, which is great because, like, Toddlers, not as bad as we used to think they were, because now we have infants that uh, really just throw off that scale. But sometimes you still need a break, so just send those suckers to school to learn their skills. There's also the Better Schools mod, which allows you to build skills at school and have more interaction. So this goes for both children and teens. You can have them do different things instead of just study hard. You can have them take notes and do different things that help build different skills and different character values. Similar Similarly, the Smarter Homework, they have different options when they click on their homework. It helps build their skills, builds their character values. And then, of course, we have online schooling, which is just what it sounds like. As long as you have a computer, you could do your schoolwork at home. And this is awesome if your Sims are on like a vacation or something, or if you have some kind of storyline where your Sim can't go to school. But there's a lot of really cool features within this mod. As with everything on this list, I highly recommend you check it all out. 
Next on the list is Social Activities by Little Miss Sam. And this mod is actually on CurseForge, so really convenient to download if you have the app. And even if you don't have the app, you just click download and it's the same as if you're downloading any other mod. But this mod adds social activities for your Sims to go to in like a rabbit hole gameplay scenario. But you can send your Sim alone, you can send them with other household members, they will build their, their needs, uh, build relationships, and for some of them, they will even build certain skills. So this is really great if you're trying to get your sim out of the house or just for storytelling purposes. And it is compatible with infants. So as long as your infant is being carried out by a sim or if they're in the back carrier, they will disappear with you into the void. The next mod is another activities mod. This one is by A Deep Indigo. So some of these activities have certain requirements. They may be age specific. They may be season specific, but all of them are super fun and creative. And there's almost 50 of them in this mod. So you're going to find something that fits your, your storytelling. There are some requirements for certain activities. So be sure that you read the entire description, to see which ones will show up in your game. This next one is also by A Deep Indigo, and this one is Summer Camps. And this mod technically only requires base game and seasons in order to work, but if you have different packs installed, you can have up to like 11 different types of summer camp to choose from. But the way it works is that during the summer, you can choose to have your child or teen sim attend camp for up to five days. And this can either be like a day camp or an overnight camp, but they will learn skills that correspond with the specific camp type and they'll even have the chance to get a buff at the end of the day based on their experience at camp that day whether it's a good experience or a bad experience next we have the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod there are a lot of different mods to choose from when it comes to pregnancy mods specifically but this mod is all inclusive for pregnancy and complex relationships. So by that I mean, is your sim interested in expanding their family? Or do they want to be child free? Do they have fertility issues? There, There's a lot of options in this mod and honestly a lot of opportunity for drama. There's paternity testing, there's cheating, there's custody and separation options. There are some pretty sensitive issues and subject matter that's covered in this mod that includes a uh, woohoo transmitted diseases, uh, loss of pregnancy, things like that. But you can pick and choose which of those features you even want to have included in your mod. It's completely customizable and that's one of the things that make this mod really great. Like there's even a dating app and compatibility which is something you can add in on here so your sim can have certain like turn-ons and turn-offs. Like I said there, there's a lot of features in this mod. This next one is a new mod by that same creator, and this is the Science Baby Tweak. So instead of your sim disappearing into the void for a few hours and then coming back with a full grown baby, you now have the option that each time you go for a science baby, you can choose either instant baby or a pregnancy, which again is, is great for different gameplay. And even more by the same creator, another new mod. This one's specifically for Milestones, which is a big part of this new pack. And this mod is getting constant updates too, so that's really awesome. But it gives you the ability to add or remove milestones from any age group on your sim. So this one's great if you're starting with an adult sim or if you have an existing save file that existed before you got this pack and you want your sims to have milestones from their earlier like age stages, you could use this to add those for storytelling purposes. The next mod I'm going over, I'm actually going over two mods. It's two for one, it's a two for. But this is a custom aspiration slash career that you can download for your sim that is specific to being a stay at home parent. Like, can you imagine 500 simoleons per hour? If only the real world would recognize being a stay at home parent for the job it actually is, but. The next mod is by the same creator and it's another aspiration. This one is specifically for siblings. So it's the super sibling aspiration. And you know, it has all the goals that you have as a sibling, you know, teasing, being mean, being mischievous, but also making fun of adults and becoming partners in crime. So cute stuff. 
This next mod is another one by Little Miss Sam, and honestly, this is one that you can build an entire story off of. But this is the Foster Family mod. So with this, your sim can register to foster for toddlers, kids, teens, pets, and those fosters are generated as a separate household, so you, you don't control them. They can behave unpredictably, which makes it pretty fun. But with this, you could also eventually adopt that sim or that pet that you're fostering. It's honestly just a really sweet mod and it's great for like alternative family type gameplay. Mod number 16 is the chores mod. And this is one that it has an either or type of requirement. You can either have the parenthood pack and or the discover university pack. But with this mod, you can create a chores schedule within your household or amongst roommates if you have the Discover University pack. But you can choose the type of cleaning, the day of the week, how long the cleaning goes on for. It's honestly really great if you do have a lot of kids around the house or if you do have roommates. But yeah, it's just a really cute simple mod that works great with the new pack. This mod fixes something that has been like a huge pet peeve of mine since we got the toddler play pack. But the uh, invite any toddlers to play date mod does exactly as it says. It allows you to invite any toddler to your toddler play date, whether or not you know them or the parents. It's just perfect to have your toddlers make friends their own age that they can grow up together. It's so cute. This next mod is a smaller one called More Trait Compatibility. And it's on a page with a bunch of other mods on it. So you just got to scroll down until you see it. But this takes the new compatibility system, which I I love. I love the new compatibility, compatibility system, um, but it honestly feels like it's not fully fleshed out. You tend to get the same things over and over again. But what this mod does is it adds more of the game's like existing traits to the compatibility system. But you can see here, these are all the new options that they've added. So now we have even more chances for different types of compatibility. Okay, number 19. This this mod creator honestly is, is one of my favorites. Uh, they have dozens of different like tweaks and adjustments. I probably have at least like 30 or 40 of these all in my game. But we're specifically looking at two recent ones on this list. We have this one up here, the infant care tweaks. So this one smoothens the infant care interactions. So there are fewer autonomous checks to the infant. Your sims aren't getting interrupted by the baby, like mind controlling them to perform an action. The needs decay is, is not as bad for infants, so they'll get fuller faster with certain types of food. They will have less diaper blowouts. And once they've hit certain milestones, they'll, they'll sleep better and longer through the night. And the best part, some of these milestones are accelerated. So I know for me playing on a normal lifespan and then a short lifespan, oh my God, it feels like almost unobtainable to get some of these milestones. So this definitely makes it a lot easier. And then the second mod on here is the sibling care tweaks. And this one allows your teens and kids to get character values when they're caring for their younger siblings. I don't know why this wasn't part of the like hack compatible gameplay play but now it is because it makes sense but definitely check out this creator for other quality of life enhancements like i said it's it takes what feels like a broken game at times and makes it enjoyable to play number 20 on my list are toddler gameplay items because as fun and as exciting as infants have been i feel like we've been a little let down with what toddlers are actually able to do in the new pack. So we have four separate little kit game packs by Pandasama that give a lot of just different abilities. For toddlers, we have a kid that just came in, Alexander Goth. Oh my gosh, baby. But yeah, kids can play here as well. Um, there are items that even adults can interact with. And even here, we have the little makeup kit and our toddlers able to put makeup on their mom's face or just a professional in the making. But yeah, these different game packs, they just give different unique gameplay items where your toddlers can still learn their skills and not feel so left out when they have a new infant baby sibling come into the household. But if you made it to the end, let me know which mod was your favorite in the comments below. And if there are any mods that you think I should know about, 
let me know that as well because I'm always on the hunt for new mods and I talk about them a lot on my channel in between all my other gameplay so if you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe. I also have a growing list of mods that don't actually require growing together and you can kind of do your own like DIY build your own expansion pack so if that's something that you want to see a video on as well let me know. But thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!